Tor will be slow at times. So if you're gonna, if you want to stream videos and stuff, don't. It's just not <laughs> worth it. Way too slow. Uh, there'll be times when you try to get to a site, it doesn't. You can't get to it. You click again, you can get to it. It's because it, it takes certain circuits may, they may be. Uh, the circuit you're going to may be fine, and somebody who's running that circuit decides, okay, I'm trying to turn off my machine. <coughs> so it's going to be slow. Some countries don't like you to use Tor. They will try to block you. They will tell you you can't do it. Some ISPs don't like you using it. They're more worried about if you set up a exit node or a relay node, that's what they're more, more worried about because it uses up a lot of bandwidth. Uh, so. You may get a call if you set up, if you decide to help and set up exit nodes and stuff from your ISP saying, uh, we don't want that. We don't want you to do that. That's why you can use uh, EMS or, uh, Amazon service and set up your own on their site so you can use some of their bandwidth. Bad people use it. You will go to bad sites. Uh, places like, uh, uh, what was the new one? What was the one that just got pulled down? Uh, Silk Road. They came back up again. Went down, came back up again. That's one of them. Um, naughty pictures. A lot of them out there. Um, drugs. You can. That's a bad person. Bad people use it as well as good. I take it any kind of telephony is not practical. Yeah. It. Uh, I've heard of Skype being configured to use it. So it would work. It, it's like yeah. <laughs> this is like, this is more for browsing. You can set up IM chats, you can set up uh, file transfers, but it's more for a browse to browse. If you're if you need to get if you're in uh, Iran, and you want to get to a public site that they block, that's kind of what it's designed for. Some ways to help the project. Run a, re run a tour relay. Become one of the central people that go from you to somebody else, or from two other people to the site. Uh, give money. And say more about it. Just let people know about it. Play with it. Get used to it. When somebody says, hey, I want to be able to talk to these people and I can't. Oh, you can use Tor. So what kind of system would you, you know, what kind of hardware would you like to have underneath one of these things to, like a minimum system? What Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi. That's, whatever, this, the processes of Raspberry Pi works wonderful. Bandwidth requirements? Anything? It depends on if you're a intermediary or if you're an exit. You can adjust them. It's, I've, what I've read is, I've always been on high-end bandwidth, so it's never been, I'm like, whatever, it takes 20 gig, 30 gig, whatever. Uh, minimum is 15 gig a month. So if you can handle 15 gig a month, you can, be, you can actually be an exit node. But again, there is some risks. You know, you may be in a country that they see your machine going to Facebook, and Facebook's illegal, so they think it's you. There have been there have been instances when people have been had had people knock on their door saying um, we've seen you going to this not good site and they've been they've had issues with it. It's, that's just it, that's part of the. Uh, so running an exit node, there's more risk than just being a relay. Yes, more risk because when you run an exit node, that's the IP address that people that the, the site you're going to or the people are tracking, that's what they see. Not to say it's there's there's places Germany doesn't care, Sweden may not care. But, but the US. But US and certain places your ISP may care, your ISP may get upset, but US may not care. No, well, but the NSA has already said they're gonna pay more attention to people using it than people who aren't. So yeah. Yeah. So it's like, well, what type of society do you want to live in? Do you want to be afraid to do things? Like Bruce and I would say, do you want to be afraid to do something? <laughs> Any questions? Any other? I think that's a lot of questions, but. Yeah. I just wanted to ask about the Tor network versus Deepak. 
is, I saw the one article about the Ethiopian government using deep packet inspection against the Tor network. Mm -hmm. There were some recommendations to to go over that circumvent and to sort of combat that. I, just, I didn't really understand it. Well, what, what they're kind of doing, that's where they, um, one, they're getting the packets 1024 bit in size that are encrypted. If you have, you're not going to really be able to prevent that completely because if you have two nodes or three nodes, if you if you own the entire circuit, it's a game over. You can't do anything. But that the, the deep packet inspection can be done that way. It can it can go through because it knows it has the keys from point A to point B. Uh, Tor itself is actually changing some of their keys. They're getting higher and stronger keys, so the deep packet inspection is difficult to do. It's if you have enough money, you can do it. If you, if you have unlimited resources, you can find people. So it's, it just makes it more difficult. It's not a 100% guarantee. It's not a guarantee I'll never be tracked. I'll never be, nobody will be able to know where I'm at. It just makes it more difficult. Has anyone tried a list of what countries have sort of that kind of money at it? I mean, US, China, probably Iran, Iraq. I tell you the big five and China, which is New Zealand. British or UK, United States, Canada, uh, Canada Germany. So, it, if they want to find you, they will. It's they. It's, it's always a handoff between. I want to. I want to know everything I can yeah, about. Yeah, being here. Is, I meant to worry about the Iranian really, but. Yeah, if, if, if a hit squad wants to come by here, they have to fly over, and, and you're really worth having a hit squad, hit squad come to you. My site is DrSystem.com. It'll be posted up there. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard it proposed the best way to stay anonymous using Tor would be have a series of libraries and other spots that you log on to to get on there so you're never doing it from your home ISP, make it harder to find them. So if I understand the way they found the Silk Road guy was he kept going to the same library. So they narrowed it down mm -hmm. to which library he's going to. So even though he's not us, he kept going to the same place, which created the predictability. And Grace, if you listen to what Bruce Schneider said, even if you go to 20 different places on a regular basis and you got 20 different login points, if you got your cell phone, they're gonna look for a cell phone that pings all the locations you're looking for yeah. and they can narrow it down to you. Statistical analysis. Yeah, yeah. You can do that. Um, yeah, another way the uh, uh, Silk Road was caught is he actually had uh, his website wasn't fully configured. It was actually sending dirty, or not dirty stuff, but sending outgoing packets to other sites so they, they could connect to the other site and say this guy was going here and this is where he came from. So this, the website itself was messed up. Yeah, so, uh, you know, someone just mentioned your cell phone. So I go with a Facebook, they want my cell phone number and stuff like that. So is that making me, you know, more more findable, I guess I'm saying? In what way? Well, so if now Facebook knows my cell phone number and now they, you know, they go to set Facebook and make Facebook give them their database, right? Mm -hmm. Now they can start using my cell phone to find out what other things I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Th this won't help you for that, no, because they have your cell phone number. You can't anonymize your cell phone number. Cell phone security is like, you know, it's orbit encryption stuff. Yeah. There, or what's the, you can instruct any cell phone to use, but the non password security images is like cell phone security is non existent. So hence, these stingrays are very effective right now. Yeah. Very effective. Cool technology, though. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Uh, don't, no one thought anything about security with, I mean, that you can say, tell. Which password in the location portal do you want to use? Well, no password in any cell phone will be it, and it's not in your, your phone standards yet. So yeah. we're all carrying one around. Yeah, it's, it's a service. It's, it's a great option to have. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.